Welcome to week one. In this first week, we will seek to provide answers to one key question. Why should we value freedom of expression and information? In a global context such as ours, characterized by many challenges to freedom of expression, from government, armed group, churches, society, it is particularly important to understand why it matters and why we need to protect it in order to respond to those that are so keen to control, stifle and silence. If we are going to accept some forms of limitation to free speech, and most individuals and society do understand the need for some limitation, we have to understand why free speech matters and why it is good for the individual and for society. So why should freedom of expression be valued? Throughout the week, I will present five possible responses as to why freedom of expression matters, why it is good for the individual and society, why censorship raises fundamental issues and questions regarding our humanity. I will draw on the work of political theorists, but also economists and lawyers. I will take you through a journey, a journey of discovery and knowledge. Because discovery and knowledge of oneself, of others, of the world are key to understanding why we should value freedom of expression and why we should be skeptical of any claims made around the necessity of censorship. I will begin the journey of discovery with the self, the individual, you, I, and we will then move to the society, the collective, the social good, us. For this exploration, we will survey the work of 18th century philosophers, but also that of the judges in the early years of the 20th century, contemporary political theorists, and the work of economists. We will then link these theoretical and philosophical arguments to more recent international political development, demonstrating the constant relevance and importance of the values and principles first debated several centuries ago. We will show their timeliness and their borderless nature. So let's begin.